Right then guys, as you can see, um, rather random piece of equipment there. Um, I saw it on eBay and had to have it basically. I'll give you a little uh, view around it. There's a, uh, it seemed right in. There's a top electrode, a bottom electrode and a middle plate which has a vacuum on it at the moment now this is a military spark gap I'm not sure what it's from uh, I don't know whether it's a spark gap, spark gap sort of like type uh, like a suppression I sub, uh, can't speak suppression um, so if something goes too far over it's quite strange that it's got the centre plate in there here um, but now what I've done is I've hooked it up to the big transformer so it's only 3 kV um, I haven't got any external ballast so it's 1750 watts that's all the power I'm putting into it I do have a vacuum on it at the moment and you can see that it is actually just about holding its vacuum um, so I should go ahead and try and show you um, what it does how it is set up at the moment and then I will try and move it to the bottom electrode um, which I can't see at the moment it's set up to the from the top to the centre um, and we'll see what's going on so I'll switch it on I want to get my air switch first everything ready um, and yeah, here we go. Very, very random. Very random. The whole electrode is glowing and shooting off green bits. Now, I don't want you guys to worry. So I don't know if I just got my head in there or not. There's no x-rays, it is only 3 kV, that's the thing you must remember. There's no x-rays, I do have a um, guy counter and dosimeter, um, but it's, I don't need to use it, you know, 3 kV is nothing. Um, so, I'll just do that again. So you guys can see it. And then what I'll do is I will turn it off, and I will... Turn off before anyone says anything. Move that from there to there. I don't know whether this is going to have enough power to make it. So this I haven't tried this yet. So this is a uh, first for me too. So I don't know whether it'll be enough power to make it from one to the other. There should be it's in a vacuum. Yeah. And it actually skips out the middle plate. So what I should do is I'll take you off the tripod because it's quite interesting. So you're going to get a shaky hand, man. I do apologise, I know some of you out there really don't like the old shaky hand. I'll try and keep it as close as possible. But that is only 3 kV going into there, which is quite cool. Um, I really do not know what it was intended for. I haven't got a clue what it was intended for. Um, some type of suppression, I, I guess. I really don't know. It was, you know, but what an awesome thing to to have. It's really strange how it skips through the hole in the middle, and I don't know whether you're going to be able to see this or not. No, it's not going to be able to let me show you. Um, but I mean, I'm guessing. I'm guessing it was supposed to be run under vacuum, but I really don't know. Who knows? There is no telling. Um, that's putting like 20 amps off the main size. And so let's put in yeah, about 25 amps off the mains. So um, I've actually got. I actually bought a decent meter 
no, um, I can't think of what you call it now, I'm going to switch that off, a uh, decent current, current meter, so that I could run that big volt, no, <laughs> big current meter up there on the windowsill, um, so you, you can see how much this thing is, pull in, okay. Switch it on again. I always do that. It's not going too much, but as you can see, we've still got a vacuum in there. Um, it'd be interesting to try and release it, but I don't actually have a release while it's switched on. If you try giving it some more, it won't let me. So, any way to do it really. power but not a vacuum yet. You'll see the vacuum, there we go. So at the moment we've got a red arc. Got a red arc in there, purple all around the electrode. You can see the electrode building up more and more. I just think that's some uh, some some cleaner burning off. Well, that's an effect we haven't seen. Uh, when it gets a full vacuum, I'm sure it will look different. I'll keep the power running so we can see it all the way through the stage. I'm presuming when it gets up to vacuum. It will stop doing that, or maybe not. Sorry, that was me. Let go of the switch. So we look what the old vacuum gauge is up to. Well, the vacuum gauge is telling me that we're back there again. Just now gone white as opposed to yellow, no, uh, red, sorry. Really weird effect happening in there, really, really weird. It's a lot more strange than what you can actually see on camera. I'll let that vacuum for a bit longer. Maybe it's because it's still vacuuming. If I actually stop the vacuum, I hope you can hear me, guys. If I actually stop the vacuum, we'll see if it changes. If it stabilizes it a bit or or what. No, we have a very, very unstable very unstable. It's gonna jump all around. That really is very, very strange. Um I don't know what's going on there. I'm presuming maybe it got too much vacuum, I don't know. Could try releasing a little. There you go, release a little and you get the the red and the purple. I won't be able to switch the compressor on, no, the vacuum back on because it won't do it when it's uh, when it's under load. But there. There you go guys, don't know what it's going to be used for yet, just a really, really nice piece of um, military gear. Uh, might try a bit higher voltage through it, get a good old vacuum on there and, and see what happens. But I might open it up, take out these um, bits of perspex, um, maybe use it for a safety gap for a tesla coil or something or maybe turn it into a big blower gap i don't know who knows but anyway guys please comment like um subscribe all the rest of it thanks for watching give it the old thumbs up and speak again soon